In this video, I'll show how to do a basic SEM alignment. This technique will work for any combination of voltage, current, working distance, and any detector that you're using. In this case, I'm looking at gold particles on a carbon substrate. It's a basic standard sample. And for the purpose of getting good video for the demonstration, I'm at 15 kV, 0.6 nanoamps, and 5 millimeters working distance. I'm using the through the lens detector in secondary electron mode to pick up on the surface topography of the sample, and I'm in field free mode. Uh, but again, this technique will work for any combination of settings and detectors that you're using. Now, first I want to go to the alignments handout that I've made, which describes the basic workflow of the alignment. We'll always start by adjusting the source tilt, also known as gun tilt or crossover. That's going to make sure that the beam is well aligned down the column. Once we've done that, we're going to use focus to pick up on the visual cues that are associated with astigmatism and lens alignment. As we change focus, if we see stretching, that'll tell us we need to fix astigmatism. And as we change focus, if we see the image shifting on the screen, that tells us we need to adjust the lens alignment. And we'll continue this process of focusing and picking up on visual cues and making the corrections in an iterative loop until all those visual cues check out. So if we go back to our image, again, the first thing we want to do is check the source tilt by going into crossover mode. And the circle here, uh, we want to center on the green X. So it's pretty well centered right now. I can grab this source tilt cursor and I can move it around. You can see I can now bring it back to center on the green X. If you can't see the circle very well, increasing the contrast will change the brightness of that circle and increasing the brightness will change the brightness of the background. So that's pretty well aligned. We'll get out of crossover mode. I'll take my contrast down a little bit. And now I'm gonna start with focus. So I right click for focus, and as I focus to the right and focus to the left, I just want to evaluate what's wrong with my image. So as I focus to the right here, I'm picking up on a directional stretching of my particles along a diagonal. Uh, and if I bring it back to the left, I can see that that stretching now is 90 degrees rotated along this diagonal. So that's a hallmark of astigmatism, the stretching of the image. As I oscillate back and forth with my focus, you can see stretched on this diagonal, and again stretched on this diagonal as I focus to the right. So to fix the astigmatism, it's very important that we select the right focal plane. And the way to select the right focal plane is to go halfway in between the stretching. So again, stretched along one diagonal, I go to the left, on the other diagonal, I want to settle somewhere in the middle where there's no directional stretching and instead we have, uh, say, equal blurriness along all edges of any of these particles. So that's good focus. And again, I can oscillate to the left and right and see how it stretches. So here's good focus. Shift right click for astigmatism. And I'm going to go side to side to try to get the sharpest image that I can. I'm adjusting the X astigmatism. That's about as good as I can do with the X. And then I'll go up and down to adjust the Y astigmatism. And here you can see the image has improved very well. Now to evaluate astigmatism, again, focus. So as I focus to the right and to the left, I don't see any stretching anymore. Uh, but what I do see is a shifting of the image. You can see it's kind of shifting along this diagonal. And when I see shifting, I want to, to adjust the lens alignment. So to do that, I'll click the modulator, and I want to go to a shorter dwell time so we can visualize the oscillation. And here again, it's moving along this diagonal, and I'm going to fix the lens alignment uh, one axis at a time. So if, it's, if I want to fix the X oscillation, I'm going to grab the vertical bar of the lens alignment cursor, and I'm going to move it left or right. And as I move it to the left, now it's pretty much only moving up and down. So I've gotten rid of the X oscillation. To get rid of the Y oscillation, I'll grab the horizontal bar and move that up or down. And so somewhere around here, it's basically blinking in place. Uh, and that's what we want to see. So what I've done though is I've induced some astigmatism by changing the lens alignment so I want to go back 
and use my focus to evaluate. So the image is no longer shifting, but now I can see there's some more stretching. So again, I'm gonna see the stretching on one side, it's diagonally stretched the other way. On the other side, I'll stop somewhere in the middle where the par particles are equally blurry in all directions, and then I'll change the X and Y astigmatism to sharpen up the image. So now as I use focus to evaluate, there's no stretching and there's no shifting. Uh, but in this case, if I really want to perfect the alignment, I might want to zoom in on a smaller particle and maybe use a reduced window here. And I can do the same thing. So now at higher mag, any imperfections will be, will be enhanced. So I can use my focus to try to evaluate. And what I see is maybe as I focus to the left, there's a little bit of vertical stretching here. As I go to the right, it's more horizontal stretching. So I'm going to stop somewhere in the middle where the particle is equally blurry on all edges. And I'll use my astigmatism to sharpen up that image. And again, I'll use focus to evaluate. So here as I change focus, I don't see any stretching and I don't see any shifting of the image, so all of my visual cues check out and the alignment is done. We can get out of the reduced window and now you can set up the field width and you can set up the dwell time to capture the image uh, to your liking. So that's how we do an alignment for the SEM mode and this will also apply to focused ion beam mode, but that's where we'll stop right now.